Hey everybody, it's Jess here with Bless Jess. Thank you so much for watching today for a What I Ate Today video. <laughs> so I haven't filmed one of these in forever. It's been not a week, but it's been a long time. So I have not been feeling well is why I haven't filmed it. I've been on track for the most part, not drinking as much water and stuff because the carbonation really helps my throat, but I just haven't felt good. So I just haven't filmed. So I thought I, I am feeling better. I think it was just allergies and the things in the, in the air blooming and pollen and whatever. So I am feeling a lot better. So I thought I would do a video for you guys today. Now, today is Monday, March 12th, and I am going to be just doing intuitive eating. That just means eating when I'm hungry, stopping when I'm full, no list of good foods or bad foods, or um, I just realized that the kids are must have been playing with these goggles. That's uh, a weird thing. I'm in the bathroom, so you can actually hear me because it's kind of loud out there. Um, no list of good foods or bad foods, just eating in moderation and really turning to God for any sort of emotional um, void and not turning to food. Um, if you are interested, we are starting or I am starting a Bible study on emotional eating and overeating. And it's called, um, we're going to be following the book, I Deserve a Donut. So I will leave that link down below if you want to follow along. We're going to start doing them on Friday. So just a little plug for that. And I've been really enjoying reading the book. I've been listening to some podcasts and I'm just learning a lot. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, David and I and Lucy are going to spend the day together. Nate's at school and, um, we're just going to get her out and have some mommy and daughter and daddy time. And it's always fun to just have some time with her. We haven't, you know, had that since she was with Nani for a little over a week. So it'll be fun to have some time just with her. So our plan is just to go walk around a couple stores. I need just a couple of things for some videos and thought that would be fun to just walk around. She loves going to the grocery store and walking around. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to go to lunch. I have no idea where. So I, we, because of the time change, we had dinner last night at 10 30. We had a really big, um, lunch um at Moe's late after church and so we were hungry but then we started getting hungry at like 10 o'clock so we made a quick sandwich and had dinner really late so I woke up and I wasn't hungry at all I did have some coffee in my new blessed mug so I'm gonna put it right there and show you guys it's just some coffee with some Hershey's chocolate and caramel creamer it's really good and then I had some water. I'm really trying to up the water because the last few days I have not felt like drinking anything. So I know I'm a little bit dehydrated. I kind of feel like that. Yesterday I felt really like bloated. Okay. Um, and um, I just needed some water. So I drank a big thing of water and I'm going to continue like really concentrating on that today. Not to try to get in a goal, but just because I feel like my body needs it. I woke up so thirsty this morning. So we're going to do that. Whatever we buy that I can show you, <laughs> some of it is a surprise. I will show you when we get back as well as tell you where we ended up eating. I have absolutely no idea where, we'll, where we will go, but I'm just going to eat until I'm satisfied, not overdo it. And um, yeah, that's pretty much the plan. So welcome to a What I Ate Today video that I hope you guys enjoy them. And um, I know you guys do because you watch them the most probably of all my videos. So thank you so much for all of your support, for all of your kind words. I am feeling better. I never was like sick, sick. I was just kind of like my throat hurt. My voice was pretty much gone and it just left it. The videos didn't happen. So anyway, let's do this day. Let's have a great day. And next up, I'll show you everything we got when we were out and what I had for lunch. Hey guys, so we are home. There's nothing too much to show you. We ended up getting some jello because Lucy went to, we ended up going eating at the Chinese buffet and Lucy cracks me up every time we go there because she loves jello. So I was like, we can buy jello. So after we went to eat, we went and got her jello at Target. I got some, um, pour, what are those things called? Like blackhead pour remover, whatever, strips, blackhead strips. Um, and then we got some Nate, some French toast, his sticks that we get at Kroger. And I got a cantaloupe. I bought a $4 package of little bitty package of cantaloupe last night. Cause that's all I could find. And I've been wanting it so bad. Kroger had it. 
it was two dollars but at least I got a whole cantaloupe so that's all the exciting things we got plus we got some stuff for videos upcoming videos me and David are doing um, his brain is going crazy with ideas so is mine and um, we've been watching too much good Myth mythical morning GMM if you haven't seen them they're hilarious they have like 13 million subscribers literally but they're so funny and um, they do all kinds of like taste tests and stuff. So we're going to do a couple of things for you guys. Just be, some stuff is going to take a while. It's like in the works. But, um, so I can't show you any of that. So let's talk about food. So by the time we ate, it was like 11 o'clock and I was pretty hungry. I was really hungry because I hadn't eaten anything for breakfast. So I will show you a picture of my food. Um, kind of looks like more than it was. I think it's just because the plate was kind of small. Anyway. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to justify it or defend it because it is what it is. I just ate till I was satisfied and I did not go crazy, you guys. So I had some chicken, which I used just a little bit of that sweet and sour sauce. I had some green beans. I had an egg roll. I had some noodles. I had like a one or two pot stickers. Um, and then after I ate that, I did eat everything on my plate. I went back and got just a few more noodles, just a little bit more noodles and like two more pieces of chicken. And that was it. And I definitely, I didn't get dessert. I could definitely eat like way more than that normally. Like I did really well. I did not leave stuffed. I left just barely full and I feel great about that. Um, so I'm really proud of myself. That was really good. I don't, I don't know. I feel like going into those places and not like eating a lot is kind of like hard because it's a buffet and you feel like I want to get my money's worth, but I just stopped listening to that part of myself that wanted to overeat just to justify the cost and just said, you know what? No, I'm just not going to do that. I'm going to eat till I am just now satisfied. Lucy chose the restaurant and it is somewhere we don't, we can't go with Nate because he does not like Chinese food. So that was awesome. And then we stopped at racetrack to get something and which I can't tell you about. And I got a little coffee. This is just a small and I drank maybe like this much of it. And I'm, I just can't drink anymore. I don't know. I don't know why I might I just, I just don't feel like I need any more. I might save it and then heat it back up later. But, um, it's just regular coffee with some half and half and, and some sweetener. So that is the most exciting news I can report. And then I came home and had a nice conversation with one of Nate's speech therapists. He is just He's such a blessed little boy because they're really working with him on his speech and trying to find some devices that may help him express his speech better. They're working on like storyboards and stuff where he can, because the problem with Nate's speech, if you're new, Nate has autism and um, he knows a lot when you're talking to him and he knows words. He knows all of words, what they mean, but he doesn't, he has a hard time putting them together to form sentences. So instead of, um, instead of just coming to me and saying, I'm hungry, I want something to eat, he'll say, he'll look at me and say, what do you want? Because <laughs> he wants me to say, what do you want? And I'll say, what do you want? And he'll say, pizza. I'll say, do you want pizza? Yeah. And so he, he knows how to communicate, but they're trying to get him more independent to be able to um, come up to somebody and say what he wants and to say what he thinks. And it's not be all broken up. So she, <laughs> she's going to, um, work with him on some new ways of doing speech therapy so it's really exciting uh, and he, they said he's doing really well and um, he's been doing some group speech as well as one-on-one -on -one. he gets twice a week and then they do some group stuff and she said they always pull Nate because he's really good in the group setting which is was awesome to hear and um, she said there was this one speech therapist that he really likes he said she said he, she's just younger and um, he loves her and so uh, she got there one day. I thought this was so cute. She got there one day and they said, Nate, say hi to Miss Courtney. I think that was her name. Say hi to Miss Courtney. Say hi. Nice to see you. And he, he said, no, he, they said, say hi to Miss Courtney. Tell her hi. Tell her good morning. What do you say? And he, he said, it's nice to see you. <laughs> and it was like totally opposite of what they were trying to get him to say. But then he said it in his own way. And they were like, we were just like, uh -huh. So she's like, there's so much potential. She said, I wouldn't really consider his speech delay severe. She said, but then in some ways I would because he has so much potential that we're trying to unlock. So that was really exciting, really exciting to hear. So things are going very well. And um, 
David's going to get Nate. We have an, I have an hour before Nate gets home. David had to go run an errand and then he was going to get in line after that to get Nate. Lucy's having a little bit of quiet time. So I think I'm going to have an hour of quiet time. That sounds fabulous. And then I'll get up and I need to work on some editing and housework. <laughs> Don't look at the house behind me, y'all. And um, yeah, it's been a really good day. I think David might have to go to church tonight for a meeting. Um, so just... Just one of those days. It is so cold. That's why I got the coffee is because I was freezing. It is so cold outside. The wind is blowing and it's just really like bitterly cold. So, but then I feel like I wasted it because I just didn't, I don't know. I don't feel like drinking it. So I'm not going to make myself. So don't make yourself drink or eat something just because you feel like you paid for it. You know, just don't like save it or whatever, but it's not worth it. If you, if your body honestly doesn't want it, that's my, that's my two cents. Anyway, I'm going to quit yapping on. I'll see you guys back probably at dinner. That's when I'll see you next. Hey guys, so I haven't talked to you since we got home from lunch. All I've had tonight, it's 8.30. All I've had since lunch is some fruit. I had a, hand, a couple handfuls of grapes and a couple of bites of um, cantaloupe and then a couple of bites of grapefruit. <laughs> so like a small little fruit salad. Um, and I've been drinking on my water, which is somewhere. David just got home and we're going to eat... I just got the kids to bed. It's just been a long day. They're both very, very tired. Very tired. So. Oh, sure. <laughs> and we are both very tired. Um, we have like frozen Chick-fil-A chicken that, that got donated to the church and we ended up with it. And so I put some of it in yeah, my air fryer. Like chicken from the church. Yeah, we didn't take that. They gave it to us um, because they didn't have any way to do with it. We don't know if this is spicy. Some of it's spicy and some of it isn't. That's the only thing that I would say is like kind of frustrating, but it's yeah, Chick-fil-A. You, can, you, can't, you can't, can't complain. You can't tell it's spicy from I think that one right there is regular and then some of it's spicy. Can't you tell? Spicy chicken has red to it. Not necessarily. It usually has a red tint to it. I think like I'm, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out if it's spicy. We'll probably have ranch with it. If it's not spicy, then I have something anyway we're making big salads i'm gonna chop up that so here's our salads it's just a bunch of lettuce a little bit of shredded cheese and a sprinkle of croutons but um i'm just gonna go ahead and end the video here and then probably post it tomorrow for you guys because i already posted two videos today so i don't i know you probably don't care but i like to kind of space them out a little bit so i'll just post this in the morning and it'll give me kind of a small little break so when the chicken gets done in the air fryer, I'll chop it up, put some dressing on the salad, and we are going to eat dinner. That is going to be it for today. We've done really well. I'm a little nervous about weighing in tomorrow just because we've had a lot of sodium and, and stuff today. But I've done really well. I have not eaten when I wasn't hungry. So that was good. And I'm not going to worry about it too much. So hopefully you guys had a great weekend and a great Monday. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Please subscribe if you're new. We will see you all probably tomorrow. Good night, everybody.